Hi, this is David Papkin with TSI Consulting Services. Welcome back. In this video demo, I'm going to show you how to install Bash on Windows 10. Now, why do we install Bash in Windows 10? Well, this way we can have Linux. We have access to Linux commands like dig, and, you know, also all the Linux software on this one. But just to be clear, this is not a container. It is not a virtual machine. It is a Linux file system, Windows. This was actually a Windows project that was called Astoria for installing uh, Android apps on Windows. On this. So, what we're going to first do is enable developer options, enable then under uh, programs add Windows features, enable the Windows subsystem for Linux, reboot, and then download the Bash on Ubuntu for Windows application. So, first thing on Windows 10, I'm going to go to settings, and the enable developer. Features, or developer mode, yes. Searching for the packages. Great, it's installed. Remote tool for desktop is now enabled. Next thing I'm going to do is this enable. The subsystem for Linux beta. Okay. So I'm going to go to the control panel. Programs. I'm going to turn Windows features on or off. And you'll see something here Windows subsystem for Linux beta. going to have to do is I'm going to have to reboot. And I'm going to pause the video to get rid of the latency and I'll see you in a little bit. Hi, so I already rebooted. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download the bash from the Windows Store. So if I type here bash, look at this. I now see something here. Now it says this will install Ubuntu on Windows, distributed by Canonical. Yes, to continue. And I'm going to download from the Windows Store. So after this, I'm going to pause the video and it'll come back. Okay, and as you can see now, I've done this and this. It downloaded it from the Windows Store. The first time there was a bit of an error, I had a connection issue. Then it extracted the file system and now wants a Unix name. Well, let me just try root and let me see what this. I'm very curious. Okay, there it is right there. It's root and that's great. Okay, so now if I take a look here and I can see I can do ls, I can do vi. Bash.txt. I can do um, all kinds of other things here. I got man, whatever, like let's just say like man vi. So there you go. Now next time, next time I type bash. You see, it says Bash and Ubuntu for Windows. Great. And I have in here, I can even type dig here. Fantastic on this one right here. I'll show them the roots of it. So, I've downloaded it, and now it is all installed. This is David Papkin with TSI Consulting Services, installing Bash and Windows 10. On my next one video, I'm going to show you how to use dig. Thank you for watching.